Come on, man. Hey. Come on, man. Hey. Hey, man, you're parked in the middle of the drive to wine here. Hey. Sir. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, you're parked in the, in the drive to right now. Hey, sir. You right? Dude, you're, you're parked. You're, you're sitting in the drive-thru line here. What's up? Sir, you're parked in the drive-thru line. You're, you're, you're blocking traffic here. You were sleeping when I walked up here. What's up, man? You used to have a long day or something? What's up? All right, yeah, you can't. You just you're walking. People calling said you were walking here, right? You good? You don't need a ambulance thing like that? Are you just tired? All right, man. Just, just I'll move my car. Just pull up. Just pull somewhere and take a nap. All right. All right. You good? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're just gonna. My man, come here, you need to go back to sleep. You gotta move your car. You went back to sleep. You went back to sleep. Okay, why don't you move your car into a parking spot, okay? Right now. Alright. Alright, don't go back to sleep. Just pull it over there. I got you. Okay, alright, thank you. Here at Ford Radio 26. Thirteen oh one, your call is coming out. She by she will be parked uh, in the back of that address. Back up, thank you. Breezy. Copy, you too. Real, real, real. So, 
Hey, my man. Hey, are you good, man? You seem like you were passed out before. I want to make sure you're okay. Why'd you fall asleep in the in the? Wait on my sister. What's up? Wait on my sister. Okay, how much did you drink tonight? Not much. How much is not much? Uh, about a drink, about twelve today. All right. Hey, do you have your license on you, real quick? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you say one drink. What kind of drink was it? It was just one of little margaritas. How about any, any drugs today? Absolutely. I don't do drugs. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, uh, is this a rental car? What's, what's the deal with that? I said to. Uh, I said to. Do what? Rental. Rental, gotcha. Where'd you rent it from? Um, I'm placed down off of Tara. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, you keep looking for your license, alright? Well, I'm, I'm gonna get out. No, just, just stay in the car for me, alright? Just stay in the car for me. Just look for your license. 304 to radio. Go ahead. We have any uh, available DUI certified officers working in the zone right now? I have any DUI certified units in code 7. Three or four radio. It's possible we can raise one to come to this location. Copy that. Thank you. All right, man, just stay in the car for a minute, all right? Keep looking for your license. I'll be right back with you, all right? All right, appreciate it. Hey, taxi, kid. 1023, go ahead. Yeah, buddy. I know it's not getting ready to come over to me. 304 to Detective Radio. If I could get a DUI certified officer to my location, uh, which is, hold on a second. Uh, 125 University Ave Southwest is the Wendy's parking lot. 1023, uh, I copy. You can go to pack one. Yeah, I copy. Okay, one radio. Can you send me that unit call? 1021, I copy. Three or four on tack one, or pressing DUI. 1021 on tack one. Hey, if I just get a DUI certified officer out here, I got a guy sleeping in the Wendy's parking lot. Smell alcohol. Hard to wake him up. He's fumbling with his license. Uh, he told me he had one drink a few hours ago, but he's uh, pretty out of it. Definitely got some good amount of liquor in him right now. All right, is he still in the vehicle? Have you detained him or anything? I'm just standing by with him right now. I don't know. All right, I'm coming up 75. How's he pleasing now? Copy, appreciate it.
All right. All right, just wait. Just stay on the car with me for a minute, all right? Where are we? Rain. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, hey, just, just stay on the car with me, all right? What's up? What's up, man? I just had it when I had it at the uh, hotel. Okay. But I did went to Rogue. Yeah. And uh, they asked me for it, but they, they had it the day before. All right. So it was like I had right. Mr. Brooks. All right, you're good. Do you want to just hop back in the car for me, all right? All right. All right, appreciate it. I'm sorry, no problem. No, you come in, just. Hey. All right. What's your name, sir? Uh, Ray Sharp Brooks. How do you spell that for me? R A Y S H. R A Y S H. A R D. A R D. Okay. What's your date of birth? January 31st, 1993. January 31st, 93? Yes, sir. Alright, alright. Tank tight woman, alright? I'll be right back with you. Alright. 304 on the radio. 304. You can put in the notes, uh, DUI certified officers been advised when he's around. Hey man, just stay. Hey, stay in the car. All right, hey, just stay in the car with me, all right? I want you to ask me. Okay. All right, man. Cool. Thank you. My wallet. I yeah. Said, man, you know, I just had my wallet. Right. She said, yeah. I called my sister. She said, yeah, you had it. All right. Why don't you just put it in your sofa? I said, right. yeah, please. Let me walk back to the car, man, all right? Thank you for asking me here. Where are you coming from? Um, Actually, I just came from getting something, uh, something to eat. Okay. From uh, over to the road. Okay. Hey, why well, did you just get back in the car with me? I hate keep asking. I don't want to... I just want to make sure you know, man, everything's good. Yeah, you're good, man. Just get, Why don't you stay in the car with me, all right? I don't want to keep asking you. Just, just sit in the car with me and relax for a minute, all right? Okay. Sir. Oh, no problem, no problem. Right, just sit in the car with me, all right? I hate to keep asking. What's your name, sir? Brosnan. Mr. Rosnan. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm, right. I apologize. You're good, man. Just, get, just stay in the car with me. So, where, where are you coming from to get something to eat, you said? Over over in Jonesboro. Jonesboro? Okay, so what, what are you doing here? Something to eat. <laughs> so again? You just got something to eat again here? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I was trying to see what she wanted, but like I said, yeah. she she was answering and like, babe, what what do you want to eat? And yeah, she's like, you guys, I don't know. All right, hey, just why are you hop in the car, me? All right, just just relax in the car. What are you uh are you just are you here for a visit or what's uh? I'm visiting. Where are you visiting? Uh, my mother's grave site. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. How how long has she uh passed for? It's it's been probably about a year and a half now, but. Okay, I'm sorry. My that. birthday's just passed, and uh, my girlfriend's birthday just yeah. passed. But I, I went to visit her, and yeah. All right. We decided to eat Burger King tonight, and hey, this happened. Right, I, I hear you. I say, babe, what was going on? Right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have, we're gonna talk to this officer here for a minute, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Okay? Oh no, no problem. All right, thank you, sir. All right, stay in the car. Stay right there. All right. Hey, what's going on? So, found him passed out in the parking lot. He's sitting here. So he was in the drive. Yeah, he's, he's okay. on. Cars on. Took me like a few minutes to wake him up. Kept knocking. Opened the door. Like shook him. Woke up super groggy. Got you know pretty good smell of alcohol beverage coming out of the car. Eyes are watery, glassy. Snorted his words. Wasn't really sure where he was. And uh, he's telling me he had one drink. He said earlier. Standard size. Tried to say, oh, I think just one drink. But I can smell alcohol on him still. And uh, he's trying to tell me, I was where are you coming from? He said, well, I'm coming from. Uh, Jonesboro, I got food. And I said, well, what are you doing here? I got more food. So he's really not too clear, like, that could, I got right. here, got there. But I mean, he so, words. And so this was a 911 call, right? Yeah, yeah, the drive through called it in. So somebody called because he was in the drive through He just passed out in the car. Passed out in the drive through Yep. Okay. That's and where I found him. Had him pull over. Yeah, I had him move out of the way. And then when he pulled up, he actually hit over the curb onto the grass and 
like backed it up. Okay. So I, you know, I was gonna leave him here. He's just gonna drive again. You know? Sure, absolutely. All right, let me go talk. To him. All right. You have his ID? Yeah. Right there. This is a rental car that he's uh, visiting from Ohio. Hey, Mr. Brooks. How you doing? Hey, I'm Officer Rolf of the Atlanta Police Department. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. All right, so uh, tell me, I wasn't here, so can you tell me what uh, what That's happened it. before we got here? Uh, nothing happened. I just got here and was getting some need. Where are you coming from? Uh, well, my friend dropped me off here, and she she brought me here to get something to eat. And Your friend dropped you off where? Here. At Wendy's? Yes. Okay. So, it was our home lodge. So, where's your friend now? She's at the hotel. What hotel? Oh, uh, right here at the home lodge. Where is that? What's the address to it? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I know she's here at the home lodge. All right. So how did how did she drop you off here? She drove here and dropped me off. In, in what car? In uh, a black Volvo. Okay. Actually. So how did this car get here? I mean, it was here before I came. Like, this is my car, it's a rental car, my sister. But, I mean, like I told her, I, I, I came here, I met her here. Okay. From the beginning, and she picked me up. And, I mean, we went out. So we you met her here at the Wendy's? Yes. And then you went out with her? Yes. And, and then she, she came, came and dropped back you off? here. Okay. And, you know, I mean, like I told her, I'm mean, say, hey, hey, babe, you know, I, I just want a burger or I want fries. She said, hey, no problem. I'll take you there. All right. You get your fries and you come back to the hotel. Okay. No so problem. the reason why we're here is because somebody called 911 because you were asleep behind the wheel while you were in the drive thru, right? You recall that? I don't. I don't. You don't recall that? You don't no. recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive thru? Uh uh. You don't recall that at all? A absolutely. It's complete, I don't. Just complete blur. I, I wasn't driving. Like I said, I, I just drank. My uh, girlfriend, she probably was uh, sleeping, but like I said, I said, babe, I want French fries. So far as I'm aware, you're the only per person that's been seen in this vehicle, right? Yeah, only person. And you've been in the driver's seat the whole time. So how did the car get into the drive-thru line with you behind the wheel? She drove here. I said, babe, I'm drinking. In a black car. In the black ball ball. And you got into your car. I said, hey, you know what? No problem. I'll just meet you at the hotel. Okay. And she said, hey, right. get out. Hold on. Hold on. So after she drops you off here in her black car, your car was parked where? Here. Okay. So how did your car get from here to the, the drive through line? I, I never moved. So how did it get there? It, it never did get there. I, I told you I was in her car. Well, we've got a 911 call. Of people reporting a guy passed out behind the wheel in the line, this officer gets here and sees you. Everything's on camera. Sees you sees in the line. Me here in the line. In the well, line. I was. I wasn't in the line. Did I pull you over in the line? I, I walked you, up. You had to wake up, man. You didn't in pull the, him right over. here. No, it was here. I had to wake up. What? Well, look. Then he went back to sleep, and I had to wake you up again. Like I said, I, I'm. I'm sorry if I. Y'all, I just got something to eat. I went to visit my mother's grave site. I'm not causing any problems. Well, we got to make sure that you're safe to operate a vehicle. Now, do you know where you are? Yeah, absolutely. Where I'm are the farthest part, Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway and Forest The Park. home lodge is there, right, right here. Subway. Right. A subway. Okay. So it's a subway right here. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Like I said, I could, I could. So you, you think that you're in Forest Park right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway, Clayton County. Right. No, you're not. Well, Forest Park, Georgia. No. Nope. Jonesboro, Georgia. No. Nope. Try again. I have to. I mean, like I said, I'm on Old Dixie Highway. Nope. I'm not on Old Dixie Highway. No. Nope. Quite a ways away from it. Huh? This is a bridge is here. Nope. No bridge. No, I'm saying Old Dixie Highway. You're not near Old Dixie Highway. I'm not. You're, you're not even in Clayton County. Where am I? You're in Atlanta. Yes. Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway is not Dixie. in Atlanta. This Forest Park, Georgia, right? Right. This isn't Forest Park. This is Atlanta. I mean... Anyway, how much have you had to drink today? I drank earlier. Okay. How and much have you had to drink? That's when I had... 
I had one drink. Oh, uh, you're not being honest with me. How much did you have to drink? I had one drink. Be honest with you. I Over the course of the entire evening, from the time you started drinking until your very last drink, how many drinks did you consume? I had one drink. What kind of drink was it? A margarita. Uh, okay. How big was the margarita? It was just a small cup. A small cup? Yes, sir. Right. Have you taken any medication today? No, sir. Any drugs of any kind? No, Marijuana, sir. cocaine, nothing like that? No, sir. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects? Hold on, let me finish. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects, or injuries that would affect your ability to walk, balance, no, I'm, I'm or cool. operate a vehicle safely? I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever? No, sir. No, no sir. issues on the end of No, sir. All right. Uh, can you, can you just take your hat off for me? Just leave it in your car for me. You just leave it in your car. <laughs> can you step out with me, please? Yes, sir. Well, back here. Do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. Is it okay if I pat you down? Just make sure. If you... I have just money, gas, and that was it. Is it okay if I pat you down to make sure you don't have any weapons? Absolutely. Right, can you just turn it's around and face away from me real quick? What is this? Is it just a bunch of money in your pocket? Uh, it's just my wallet. What's what's all this? It's just money. Why do you ha how much money do you have in your pocket? Um, I mean, maybe I have a couple hundred bucks. Okay. Like a bunch of ones and stuff here? Yeah, right. absolutely. Can you walk over here with me, please? This is Wendy. Yes, this is Wendy. Yes, I do remember. <laughs> you can see the sign, right? Absolutely. All right. I, I, I just came to get something. Hey. Uh, you mind just put your phone on the trunk of your car? I don't want you to have anything in your hand. All right. All right, so no medical conditions, no, no injuries, no, no physical sir. defects. Are no, you comfortable sir. walking in these shoes? Absolutely. Well, they're brand new. I just bought them. Can you walk in them without falling, stumbling, anything like that? Um, Staggering? You walk in them okay? I just bought them. Can you walk in them okay? You don't have to, to show me. I'm just asking. <laughs> are you comfortable walking in the shoes? I mean, I, they are comfortable, but... Uh, i just like to do some field sobriety tests, and if you'd like, if you'd prefer, you can keep them on. If you're more comfortable with it, you can take them off. I, I hadn't been, like I said, I hadn't been operating this vehicle. Yeah, you have. All right, so... You know, so she she came here, I, I got in the car, she parked. I have no problem. Like I said, I was just trying to get me something to eat. Okay. And go back to my hotel. All right. Well, we have a police officer that actually personally witnessed you operating the vehicle, so we know you're operating the vehicle. All right. But are you comfortable walking in the shoes? Absolutely, sir. All right. Will you do some field sobriety tests for me, uh, so I can baby. make sure you're safe to operate the vehicle? What 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 should I What should I do, sir? Well, first, I just want to know you're comfortable walking in your shoes. You don't want to do all that. Just it's just yes or no. Can you walk in the shoes while yes, falling? Sir. Okay. Yes, very sir. good. All right. Just turn and face me. Put your feet together with your hands down by your side. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger and follow it with your eyes without moving your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Don't move your head. Keep your head still. Follow it with just your eyes. Do you understand? You understand? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Nothing Down and up, so stay focused on the tip of my finger, fall with just your eyes without moving your head.
Alright, it's gonna be a silver Chevy Equinox that needs to be removed from the system. And go ahead, so. Last four, six, All right. Back up a little bit. Can, can you stand where my light is? Right. Stand with your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until it's easy. You understand? I want you to imagine a straight line coming out from your left foot. Take your right foot, put it heel to toe in front of your left foot, just like this. Keep your hands by your side. Hold that position until I tell you to start. Don't begin until I tell you to. You understand? All right. You're gonna take a series of nine heel to toe steps, counting them out loud. One. Two, three. I took three steps, you're gonna go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted, take a series of small steps to turn yourself around, take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. All right, you're in the test, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them. Keep your hands by your side, and don't stop walking until you complete the test, you understand? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any questions about how to form the test? Um, no sir. All right. Here, get back in that starting position. Put your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Thirteen to five. Your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. There you go. How was that first? Well, it was it was kind of off. All right. So from these shoes are kind of all. Are you comfortable performing the test in those shoes? Yes, sir. If you want, you have the option to take them off. You want to leave them on? Can I take them off? It's up to you. They're brand new. It's up to you. You can take, you can leave them on, or you can take them off. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, I'm not sure. I'm brand oh, I'm new. I'm not sure. I can't. They're, be... they're brand new, sir. I just put them on. Okay. The... I haven't even drove in them or anything. But it's up to you. What do you want? All right. You want to do it with them on? Yes. All right. If you understand the, the, all the instructions, you have no questions. Go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. You said, rep repeat that again for me for the sobriety. You want me to demonstrate it again? Yes, sir. All right. Hold that position. Don't begin until I tell you to. Watch me while I demonstrate. Okay. Your hands by your side. You're gonna take a series of nine heel to toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps, you're gonna go all the way to nine. When you get to okay. nine, with your lead foot planted, take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Okay. Take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, three. all the way until nine. While okay. you're doing that, look down at your feet, your hands by your side, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them, and don't stop walking until you complete the test. You understand? Start one mile. Uh, you're going to start in that starting position with your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Alright. Do you have any questions about how to form the test? No, sir. Alright. If you understand all the instructions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four. Turn around. Nine. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, we're busy. They're going to have to call. All right. Uh, I'm not You're standing right there. Face my car again. Put your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to. You're going to pick whichever foot you're most comfortable with. Raise that foot approximately six inches above the ground, keeping both legs straight and your foot parallel to the ground. Look at your toe and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. While you're doing that, keep your hands by your side, focus on your toe, and count out loud as I instructed. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, do you have any questions about how to form the test? Feet up, count out, out loud. 1,001, 1,002. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, until you stop. All right. All right, do you have any questions about anything I demonstrated or how to perform the test? No, sir. All right, if you understand all the instructions clearly, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015. Pick it up, keep going. 1016, 1017, 1013, 1013, 
All right. On a scale from one to ten, with one being completely sober and ten being very impaired, how do you feel right now? I feel kind of good, sir. I feel, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm knowledgeable of everything that's going on, and like I said, I mean, if I just came to get something to eat, you know, and I have people that verify they they made their order. I'm here right at the hotel home lodge in. You know, it's probably about maybe two minutes away from here. Did did you understand what I asked you? Did you understand the question? Repeat it again for me. On a scale from one to ten, with one being completely sober and ten being very impaired, how do you feel? I'm ten. I'm very impaired. You feel very impaired? Absolutely. I'm I'm okay. I can I can do whatever. Like I said, I can I can I can make it happen, sir. I I don't I don't think that means what you think it means. So, one being completely sober, haven't drank anything, and ten being hammered drunk. How do you feel? I'm one. On a scale from one to ten. I'm one. You feel completely sober. I'm I'm. I like I said, I just woke you, up. You don't feel the effects of the alcohol that you had at whatsoever. Absolutely not. not I can all. I can make it I can make it wherever I need to be. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm home lodge, sir. Home Lodge isn't close to here. It's, it's right behind Home Lodge right here, ain't it? Where do you think you are right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway. You're not on Old Dixie Highway. Well, I'm not on Old Dixie what Highway. What city do you think you're in? She Just brought me here. here we have nine pending for single 35 and 17. I was on Jonesboro. I have a couple so what of city are you in? Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Yes, sir. On what road? Um, McDonald Boulevard. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, Alright, so let's go back. How much have you had to drink? She was drinking. Like I said, she brought me here. I don't know who she is. I don't care who she is. I said, how much have you been drinking? Just a couple. That's one. I had one and a half. That was it. So, is it a couple or is it one or is it one and a half? I put, when I got to the half, I put it away. I said, babe, let's go. I feel, you know, I need to make it home. So and one and a half safe. drinks. Yes, sir. Uh, of what? Um, it was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. Yes. One and a half daiquiris. Yes. Absolutely. So it was just a. It was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. But um. Nothing else. Nothing else. Only a daiquiri. Only. You haven't had a margarita or anything? No, no, no. It was just a, um, like the the green little daiquiri thing. But like I said, if 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 I talk and. I, I never intend to, you know, bring anybody in the problem. I just wanted me a burger. So, but but no margaritas at all today. No, no, it's just a daiquiri. Just a daiquiri. Yes. Yeah. All right. Right. And you, and you didn't. And you haven't. You haven't drove your vehicle at all. He's, you say you caught me in the. Right there. Right there. I woke you up and then I said you need to move the car and then you said okay and then you went back to sleep. Then I opened your door again, I had to shake you and you woke up and then I asked you to move your car over there. That's the BP by the Marathon Jump for Road. This is University Avenue. Yes. Very good. This is University Avenue. Yep. My I grow up here. Okay. You know she's my girlfriend. Okay. She left off. I said, babe, I'm gonna get Wendy's and I'm gonna go back to where that's, that's, that's what I asked you was have you drove that vehicle I mean probably from from the point of the drive through to here to park okay and how did it get into the drive through she pulled out I pulled out from here where this this red car was I remember this red car so it, out. it got into the drive through because you drove it into the drive through correct I, I mean if if, if you caught me in the drive-thru, then I, I didn't drive here. My Absolutely. question is, your vehicle got into the drive-thru it, because you drove there, I backed there, right? out and drove, you know, say, baby, baby, I need burgers. She said, okay, fine, I'm going home. My said, question, no, no problem. I, so, I just so I understand what happened, clearly, your vehicle was in a parking spot, your girlfriend dropped you off, you got into your vehicle, you backed it out, and you pulled it into the drive through correct? Yes, sir. Yes, then, sir, Mr. Roth. And then, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? 
I dre I, I was on the phone calling her. She didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer. I said, babe, last time I answered. I said, baby, uh, I'm getting burgers and you know what's going on? She said, uh, you you supposed to get burgers. Just go ahead and get burgers and the phone went dead. Okay. I said, well, um, you don't know your order, you know, whatever the case may be, just let me know and the phone went dead. Like I said, I can call her now. She stays right down the road. I have a, a, a parking spot right down the street here. Okay. If I, like I said, if I cause any problems well, or anything. Did you understand the question that I asked you? Yes. What did I ask you? You said, how did it, my car get from the driving spot to the to the drive? Right. We, that was the previous question. We established. We, we answered that question. My next question was, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? Why did you fall asleep behind the wheel? I fell asleep because I can't. I can't. I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, hey, if she can't get her order her order together. And you know, I'm not feeling you know up tight right now. I just park right here, go to sleep. I'm not feeling you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling right. What do you mean you're not feeling right? She, like do I you said, you think maybe that you had too much to drink and you realized that you shouldn't drive, so you park. I mean, would that be accurate to say? Yes, sir. Mr. Ralph, yes. All right, so your girlfriend drops you off. You got into the car. You I backed pulled out. Up you and pulled up. Her. And you're like, damn, I'm too drunk to drive. And so you pull back into the parking spot. And park, right? I call her and like, babe. Oh, is that accurate? If, 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 if it, it's a couple moments I got on the phone with her. Yeah. I'm like, babe, hey, damn, you know, um, you want number one or number two? or? But she's like, would you Would you agree? You, uh, you take care of that. You're a man. You figure out what we're going to eat tonight. All right. All right. Let's move past that. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to drive? I mean, I can focus, Mr. Ross. I can focus. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to I, drive? I haven't had, you know, to the point where I can't focus. Okay. I was a little tired ahead of the day because we just came from North Carolina. Do you think that you're safe to operate a vehicle right Absolutely, now? Absolutely, Mr. Ross. And how much have you had to drink? I had two margar uh, one and a half margaritas, Mr. Ross. One and a half margaritas? Yes, sir. Margaritas? Yes. Have you had anything else today? Any other type of drink? No, sir. You haven't had any daiquiris? I haven't had no daiquiri. I had one and a half little small cups of margarita, but margarita. I can I'm up now. Y'all got me up with this. Got you up. I'm up now. I got if you. I, if hey, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Uh, what's what's that? It's a little handheld machine. I have you blow into it, then lets me know if you're uh, positive or negative for the presence of alcohol in your breath. I I've been drinking. Okay. I I, I do um say that. Okay. But I'm only going a few minutes down the road. Mr. I got Ross. you. I'm just asking. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? I mean, I I don't know what it is. I just said it's a little handheld machine. Let me know if it's positive or, or negative for the presence of alcohol. That's part of my investigation. You know it is the presence. I've I been know. Drinking. I know. I can tell. That's just part of my investigation. But it's like just, I said, listen, I, listen, I, I, if I have to park this car right here right now, and on, walk, it's, it's just a yes or no. I don't. We don't need to go back and forth about it. It's just a yes or no. But what if I what if I take this test and I, I don't care about. I can walk home. Why I don't have you? to. I don't have to park. Why would, you, legit, why would you walk home? I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. I can walk my my sister's house is right here. Do you think that you'd be in violation of something if you if, if you were to drive your vehicle? If if you know if that's less possible for me to park here, lock the car up, and do everything that I need to do within the presence of you guys. I can just go home. I have my daughter's there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. All right. Hold on, Miss Brooks. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Is it yes or no? I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I will. Okay. Just wait here while I grab. Oh, man. So, 
trying to make sure, man, you're safe to drive, that's all. I know, man. I just... You, you, you scared me a little bit because you were sleeping in there, so that's, you know, why I was making sure you're okay. You know, and then that's... I know, I know. You just doing your job. All right, just take a deep breath in. Put your mouth over the mouthpiece. Pull as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Very good. I just uh, had a, a few drinks. That's it. How many? One and a half. Like I said, I was into the second cup. I wasn't even... I told her, babe, let's go. Because I'm hungry. I what, need what kind eat. of drinks did you have? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something she ordered. She said top shelf or whatever. Top shelf what? I'm not sure. It was... Like I said, it was her birthday and... It was my daughter's birthday intent to, you know, have a good time. And I said, babe, you know... I'm hungry. Let's go. My 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 baby's mom. She was there. I said, "Babe, go ahead. I'm cool. You know, here's the money for the blow up bed tomorrow. Here's the money for, you know, to enjoy herself tomorrow. Just you know, give me a burger or or something. To right. Just take me home. I'm ready to go. So you had about one and a half drinks, but you don't remember what kind of drinks they were. No, sir. All right. I really don't, Mr. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be dry. Put your hands on your back for me. Here, put your hands on your back. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. Stop. Mr. Ryan. Stop. Come on, man. Stop. You're going to get tased. Mr. Ryan. Hands off the fucking taser. Hands off the taser. Stop fighting. Hands off the taser. Man, that's messed up, man.